Hey, Tony from Bike Bear here. So today our topic is going to be all about mag wheel sets. We're going to go over the types, the uses, safety, and we're going to even jump into some history. Let's roll. Before we jump into the rest of the video, I want you to know that I contacted my good friend Alex Nave of Motored Life. He's been using mags for years with a lot of success, so I'm sharing his most important tips, so you'll hear from him. And the second thing is, is I did a video how to properly mount tires on mag rims, so here's the link. Go check that out. Let's roll. Let's start with a short history lesson. So mag wheels are invented in the 1930s for fixed road bikes, meaning the bike was on a straight path, glued to the road, and they were going for speed, rigidity, consistency, right? So then throughout the years, those were developed, and then everybody else took them like, oh, those are cool, those are cool. So like when I was a kid, freestyle bikes were a thing, and mag wheels were on those. There was magnesium ones, plastic ones, all kinds of different ones. And now today, they're on little kid bikes all the way up to really high-end racing bikes. So there's a big variety out there that have made people not so sure of their actual use like they were in the beginning. So fixed road bikes was that origin. Let's look at the different types that are on the site. Click on the wheels and brakes tab, take you right to that page. At the top, you'll see the mag wheel sets and then you'll see the spoked wheel sets below it, plus uh, all the brakes and everything below that. We're gonna click on the 10 spoke star motorized bike ones. These are the ones that I have in the shop because they're the most popular sellers on the site. Look right away and you'll see it has front and rear disc brakes already on it, plus the calipers. Uh, and then it has this rear sprocket already attached, one of the pressed steel ones, uh, which I found is really great for this. It's, it really works well. If you look, it has silver, black, and red. Super cool. Next up, we're going to look at what I call the six-spoke mag wheel set. Again, you're going to have front and rear disc brakes, plus you're going to have the sprocket on there, plus you're going to get the calipers, so you'll be ready to roll. Uh, these come in white, gray, black, and red. And finally, let's look at the three spoke. This is the one that I know Alex buys a, a lot of. He loves them. So they come in uh, white, gray, red, and black. Again, they have front and rear disc brakes, plus the calipers and you get that rear sprocket on there. Really great. You um, like a certain type. Tell me about that. Yeah. So I have tested many, many, many different styles, you know, types, colors, materials. The one I have found in particular that I haven't seen really any issues, or personally, I haven't really, you know, seen any issues or dealt with anything. Uh, the three fin or the three spoke mag rim yeah. seems to be one of the stronger options i think that's just for the you know, sheer amount of metal that makes up or the you know, material that makes up the spokes themselves that makes sense have you broke any of those no in fact you don't really get a whole lot of super side to side leeway like you do on some of the other ones next up let's talk about brakes as you can see we have disc brakes mounted to the rear and the front it's a standard thing that when you order a set it'll come with the brakes that you need one other option is rim brakes. We never, ever, ever recommend using those because the rubber will wear through the material. The material is not meant to be rubbed on and grabbed like that because it'll actually wear through and cause a failure. Uh, I think you even sell it with the brakes and everything, which definitely recommended. Yeah. Um, but it comes with the disc brakes that you need, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, and I got stuck with that. I, mean, I think I found those several years ago and I have ordered Many, many numerous sets. Let's look at the Switz Cruise HD rim that you can put a caliper brake on because the steel sidewall, you're not going to wear through it. It's going to be resilient to the rubber brake pad no matter what. So it's going to be just fine. That is not the case for a mag wheel set. Another way that you could tell is just by measuring the surface area that it would be able to grip on. And it's really about a quarter of an inch compared to 7 sixteenths on the HD wheel. Pretty nice. So considering that there's not even enough surface area to grab here, plus it's just not a material that's made to handle uh, a brake pad rubbing against it, that's why we went ahead and made it standard. It's the only one in the industry that comes standard with disc brakes front and rear. 
Now, depending on what bike you have, in this case, an F0, you're good to go with the mounting points that are already provided on the frame. Beach cruiser bikes like the Switz Cruise don't have the mounting holes to mount the caliper. So you're gonna wanna check the link below for this bracket. That's a billet aluminum adapter that you bolt onto the center hub. It'll mount your caliper on here on the back or the front and you'll be good to go. Next up, let's talk about accidents and failure. So one really common reason these rims crack or break apart or anything like that when somebody hits a pothole or any rough terrain is because the tires most commonly are under inflated. All right, so we let a lot of air out of the tire. So you could think, oh, it's fine if I'm riding and I got a little bit of squish in the tire, it's okay. What happens is, is you, you hit pothole after pothole or sidewalk edge or bump or rock or anything like that, it weakens the tube and the tire. But let's say you come up to a pothole or an edge of a sidewalk and bam, you do that. And you're like, oh, whew, I made it over that. You can fracture, basically stress fracture, the whole mag wheel itself. So you could crack and split it apart by doing that. And it also causes what they call snake bite or pinch flats, which the rim pinches the tube and cuts holes in it. Then you got a flat. Most common problem is underinflated tires and it doing this not not being strong enough and just rolling right over and taking some of the impact and moving on let's look at that on our hd wheel set this is our 12 gauge spoke hd wheel set so if the tire is underinflated and you hit a sidewalk or a pothole bam it hits it it could pinch flat just like that another thing that can happen is it will basically bend the edge of the rim but you don't notice it because it's steel and it doesn't affect it the same way it won't crack it it'll just bend it and you may not even notice it till later on you change your tire and you're like whoa that was really bent but since mag wheels don't bend they just take impact they may have you know a smashed spot here but because it's painted you may not see that it actually is fractured if it fractures over time here and over here a little bit and over here because of all the riding you've done then one day it goes bam and it blows apart like this image we would say nine times out of ten that that was fractured rim from an underinflated tire one of the most important tools for preventative maintenance is buy yourself a really good bicycle pump so this is the control tower bicycle pump and it's awesome when i bought my mountain bike i bought a pretty good mountain bike they said uh you need a good pump because we you need to keep these tires hard that way you don't get flats so boy they were right so you could fill it up with the proper amount you know exactly what it is you could do it every time before you ride so i've adopted this to the motorized bicycles also so get yourself a good pump and that'll be awesome preventative maintenance that'll save yourself from headaches of underinflated tires. Another step in your preventative maintenance plan is to always check the axle bolts. Since this is a freewheel system, you literally have bearings and an axle bolt. There's no other parts in there. And sometimes these can back out. So when it's mounted on your bike, just give the whole, the whole wheel a shake a little bit and you'll see if it's loose in there or not and then you could take care of it so i do that pretty much every time i ride just to make sure or any of these loosening keep those tight or any of these loosening keep those tight another thing is torque related damage so that's when your chain is grabbing onto your sprocket as it should your wheel is stationary and you're aggressively you know putting pressure on it from the engine like popping your clutch and all that stuff to take off a little faster every time you do that aggressively it starts to affect this area so you could see that if it's done over time too aggressively this is what happens so preventative maintenance try to pay attention to how much torque related damage you might be doing to your wheel sets for sure. In fact, one of the unique things I've seen, so, I, you know, we all try to start a new bike or, you know, it, that 
maybe letting the bicycle chug, you know, if you know what I mean by, you know, when you slow down too much, you're not hitting the clutch or, you know, you're trying to get it started, it won't start. Yeah. That kind of uh, back and forth chug flex is really not good mm. on any mag rim in general. In fact, they're not really, I don't think they're made for that impact, that back and forth, you know, that shaking. Yeah, so I never thought of that. I've seen a lot of guys snap the rims just trying to get them started. And mm. of course, you know what I mean? If yeah, I think we're talking very beginners here because once you... Once you get a bike and you know how to start it, you're yeah. going to run into that issue many times. But I have seen that on the first couple of rides. And I think that's just from that that chugging flex, that back and forth shake on the sprocket, disc brakes, mm. all that at once. Yeah, so it's adding a lot of uh, torque and tension and just kind of beating the crud out of it, really. Yeah, so if anything, get going as fast as you can before you drop that clutch. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's an interesting thing. Because I was noticing, like, we've all experienced this, I think, on a rear sprocket adapter that has a little bit of slip to it mm-hmm. that you know so it's it's giving not the rim really right so this if you apply that to a mag like yeah it's because it's bolted straight to it it's going to stress it i mean yeah and you're spot on even the you know the donut style rubber you know the ones that hook to the spokes yeah i mean those it's going to take a absorb a little bit of that shake, but like you, you were spot on there, the mag is going to mm. really take all of that kind of chugging back and forth. Stress. Really force. So mag wheels are great as long as you use them properly. What that means is, is that the tires are inflated properly. Keep it up to the right PSI. Make sure that you're riding on flat roads. No stunting, jumping, ramping, uh, you know, a lot of heavy, crazy use. They're just not made for that. Devlin, I haven't had any personally break on me per se, hmm. but I, I don't do uh, wheelies or I'm trying to stunt on them or yeah. you know, try to go off any jumps per se. If you want a wheel made for that, check out the HD 12 gauge spoke wheel sets. I got a set right here so you can see that it has the same bolt pattern for your brakes, for your sprockets, all that stuff. If you flip it over, it's uh, oops, I'm stuck on there. <laughs> Then you can see that your freewheel sprocket goes right on there. Same for the front one. You can see that it has the same disc brake attachment. So same deal in a much uh, heavier duty, flexible rim. That'll get you through the rough terrain. Um, and, uh, don't get me wrong. You definitely, you, you, you get what you pay for when it comes to mag rims, for sure. Right. So if, if you see a set on eBay for $45, that might not be the best option. Yeah. Check out the link below for our mag wheel sets and our HD wheel sets. That way you get the one that's best for you.